Now we switch the game on. Open the camera and put your camera in the right place and unfreeze the images. So now the image is out of focus. So we need to focus the sample. No matter what magnification you're going to choose, it's totally up to you. So now we choose 1000. Now we need to do the dynamic focus. Do the center focus first, if you're happy, and then do the upper focus. Now we use the panel to move the stage to find the area of interest. So you can just press X, minus X or positive X to move the stage on the X direction. But if you want to move the Y direction, just bear you, keep an eye on the camera so the your sample is not going to touch the pole piece. Now you are determining where is going to be your final position. So if you're happy, you can do the final focus. And then now we are going to insert the EBSD detector. Open the Aztec and then just check the phases you want to do. And because this is standard sample, I use the iron FCC, and then you can scan the image. I found that the FS MX image is not right, because we don't put the detector in, so we now only use the SE image. Check the settings, and you can use this to do the uh, light focus use the Aztec software so it's a continuous scan and you can use the SEM control panel to do the focus now we scan the image again because now we change the stage bridge of interest now we need to double check the um, detector position so that's the EBS detector, and this is EDS detector is fully retracted. Um, so we need to check the um, proximity is on. Now we search the detector. It will automatically stop. I just keep in mind that put your mouse in the stop position just in case there is something wrong happen. So you will stop at 169.4. Yeah, that's it. As the detector is moving in, you can see your image is becoming dark because the EBS detector is going to cause the shadow. That's quite normal. What you need to do, you, you just press the ACB and then you can get the rest contrast image. And if you want, do the focus again. And when everything is done, and then you need to close the camera, otherwise the, you can't see anything in the EBSD map. So it's fully inserted. So check the enable proximity sensor is still on. Because now we're going to do the SCN image, so we need to switch it off, otherwise there will be lots of interferences like strip lines on the map image. Now the EBS detector is in, so we can click the FSE. So 
start so now you get fs image image uh, you can see some strip lines because we choose the customer mode I didn't so now we switch to the FSD top orientation so now you can see the contrast image is quite clear Now we need to do the fast acquisition speed mode, so it's speed 2. Now you can see um, the exposure time is 100 ms, so we need to do quite quickly. So it's up, click the background. Okay, we just type in three. See what happens. It's good, not too bad. Just rescan the this area and we going down to 0.3 you can see the Kikuchi pattern is still visible and uh, it still can be indexed in every point which is good we can use the refine accuracy mode to do the indexing and we can go open 3.5 just to check which will give you which exposure time give you the best result Now we untick the auto background because the auto backup background will kind of decrease the acquisition speed. Okay, just for comparison, we tick the auto backup auto background. Now if you feel happy we do the refinement. So now the MID is 0.6 kind of. Now we are going to acquire this map data. So you can choose acquire map from a rectangular region. So this is only for demo, so I, I hope we can finish in two minutes time. You can choose step size. Okay, that's two minutes. And then you can take the stop patterns if you want and start. You can check the details. So now the acquisition speed is like 2700. And the hitting rate now is nearly 99 percent it's nice but you can also see some 
dust on the top of the surface, which will not give you the indexing at all. So that's it. And these black ones are actually the beam damage. The speed is not over 3000 because we kick the automatic background. So now it's finished. I can check the images. Band contrast, IPF, XYZ. And also you can see the face corner, electron image. You can also check the data again and export the data to the CPR format. So you can use channel 5 to analyze your data.